we're about to do an unboxing, and what I'm thinking is going to be hilarious if I climb in this box and scare the shit out of Avi just as we start live streaming. So I'm just going to hide in here, and Tom, when you're ready, do you want to call him in? Fine. Oi, boss man! Come on, video to be done. I'm, dude, I'm doing repairs. Yeah, you'll get over it. Oh, unboxing. Oh, shit, it's two o'clock already. Shit. Yep. Okay. Um, oh. uh, knife, 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 knife. Knife, awesome. Um, okay, okay, just so, uh, count me on the live. Yep, start on the left box. Oh, very, very funny, Kay. Very funny. Ha, ha, ha. It's been done before. Ah, boo. Now let's see if she can make oh, it out again. You're just, just delaying the get out of there. Okay, okay. Alright, well, I'll move my box out. You can start the unboxing again. Alright. Oh, the one. My left. Your it's left. This one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, huh. alright. Um, so, yeah, of course it's already open because. Okay, count me in, count me in. Yep. Three, two, one, go. Hey Larperinos, RV here from Of Signs and Swords. We've got another great unboxing for you today. We've got a whole bunch of new stuff from Epic Armory. It's going to be awesome. Um, as you know, it's not like a true unboxing because it's you know, already open. We've had to stop count, obviously. So let's just get into it. This one's half empty. What's in the other books? Do we get more? Miscellaneous armor? stock, probably. Oh, looking so forward to this. Single bladed axe. This is. Um, so, oh, uh, can we just go over there? Yeah, um, so one of the uh, things that's being discontinued this year is the Orc Big Axe. Very, very unfortunate, it's pretty cool. Um, however, in its stead, what we get is the new, better made, 100 centimeter axe, look at that. So you still got like all that sort of big Orc Axe look. Uh, the paint job I think is a bit better because they're not going for that sort of half stone look. A little bit of actual leather there. Nice and soft, like Epic Armory weapons should be. Core is pretty damn strong, like it should be. So yeah, nice, good axe that you can use as a you know big two-handed choppy. Um, you know, use it up close with the kaboosh. Uh, yeah, that's nice and soft, so you know you can even hilt bash if your game allows for it. And uh, is that reinforced? Oh, it's not like reinforced, reinforced, but it's certainly it's certainly thicker. So I still wouldn't recommend um, like trying to hook like you can with the Nemesis stock, but it's certainly gonna be less likely to, okay, do you wanna just pull on that for me? <laughs> okay, so like, it's it's still not nearly as durable as Nemesis, there's no cross core, but that's certainly uh, being reinforced with a, a much, much thicker bit of, uh, oh, no, there is actually like a, a little, you can feel it. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera, I can barely see it with my eyes, but mm. there's like up yeah. to here, there's like some sort of fabric there, which could be the uh, that reinforced axe head thing that they were telling me about. With so that's very cool, like that. Um, what else we got? Oh, oh. We have a Cthulhu. Really? We have Cthulhu. <laughs> Opportunity. We've already employed a dragon. We have a Tom. We have a manic pixie tarantula. Manic pixie dream tarantula. Thank you. And ladies, how you doing? Just. Did we want to get his opinion on the new axe? Yeah. All right. Uh, because we're already deep in this madness. Oh, that's. Is this because I watched HP Lovecraft and the Frozen Throne last night? You did this to yourself. No. <laughs> Alright, so, do you need a hand out of there? I'm just going to sit here. Okay. <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> and once again, we can confirm that they do not ship Cthulhu. Oh. They do ship giant tentacles, but they are not an Epic Armory product. Um... <laughs> Sometimes I think I should just set this place on fire and start again. Uh... I think we've all thought that at some point. <laughs> Okay, so we have braids. Uh, for those that are unaware of what braids are, they're basically uh, historical long johns. So if you need like magic lap underpants because you're Mormoning it up for the weekend, or stone mason, stone mason, or it's just summer and it's just too hot for full length pants, uh, these should be pretty good. Okay, <laughs> are you just getting back the box? <laughs> <laughs> it's warm and cozy in there. 
All right. Um, Kay, you, you make a fair bit of uh, clothing cosplay. Opinion on the stitching and stuff? Uh, yeah, no, stitching looks solid. It's reinforced. Um, there's space for your legs. And I like that there's crutch space. Actual crutch space. Good so, for not unisex getting super underpants. Sweaty. Yeah, good for not getting super sweaty, regardless of your beard. Oh, okay, hang on. I'll, I'll show this bit off. Um, because <laughs> let's not have you touch it again. Um, so the new Celtic suede gloves. So for those that are unaware, I have this bizarre allergy and um, yeah, I can't touch certain animal products without hand. actually flaring up. It's it's like um, being genetically required to observe halal. Cool, and I'm just a really crappy vegan because I still wear this stuff occasionally. That's because um, the leather is fun. But, so, um, I can't exactly do it up. That's the inside of it. The outside. So they're quite cool. Um, they, they they've like got the some reinforcing you know there, which would like? be nice for cold weather, so you don't split your knuckles just because it's cold. They look like April or Neil's gloves from the original Ninja Turtle cartoon. They do. Brown instead of yellow. That's okay. Quick leather dye, and that's solved. Yeah. All right. So uh, next up, we've got um, similar, but made out of what appears to be cow leather. Um, oh, these are tiny. What size are these? Small. Ah, oh, there is no way I'm getting these on if they're small. Okay, so, back to me then. <laughs> Which um, ones are those? Those uh, are the thief gloves. So if Kay walks out of here with them on, uh, we're probably unlikely to notice. Or, you know, she's just living up to They're good for role. stealthing because they're made of hide. Get out. <laughs> so they're quite nice. Um, they're fairly comfortable. They fit me. I have small hands, though, so the small is definitely... Small, small, um, like not Donald Trump small, but pretty close. Cool, and now I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so next uh, next part of the new glove range is the They Falcon look like they have suede as well. No, these are definitely not. Okay. At least they're not pig leather, because um, I'm not flaring up at all. Uh, can't eat bacon or ham either. Um, so yes, that means a Hawaiian pizza is death to you. Yeah, or meat lovers or any of that sort of stuff. Mm. These are actually, these are super comfy and they're nice and warm. And I like the way that they're clearly made with like arches in mind because you've got different fingers here. Um, that's really cool. Okay, so, I'm still stuck. And I no longer have manual dexterity. Here in says every day is fun. And I'm holding a glove. There you go. So, um, as you can see, they are stitched fairly decently. Um, we will have to take them out on the field for combat conditions. You've got your adjustable straps down the side. The idea is that they're meant to be like a falconry style glove and you sort of have your bird of prey like land like ah! But the leather is actually thin. It's a falconry style glove. Do not use them for actual falconry unless you really, really enjoy having raptors tear through your flesh. Alrighty, what else? Chris we Evans. <laughs> So next up, we have a new type of cape. Is that a doublet? No. Nope, the doublet is in there though. Yes, so this is oh, the Regulus. Regulus. Ooh, so Roman. There's supposed to be like a matching breastplate for it, but it hasn't been released yet. Which makes us all frowny face. So, fabric leather's quite stiff. I think you need to kind of soften that up a little bit. Also available um, in green or, hey Cthulhu, pop out a second for a second again. Also available in blue. A little darker so, than Cthulhu, but close. Uh, oh, looks like we need to get more of those. Um, very capey. That's, yeah. Capey shapes. Standard kind of shape. That? That's modern, isn't it? <laughs> yes, yes, it is. Shouldn't do that. It basically <laughs> works here now. <laughs> ooh, ooh, okay, so it's not exactly a new item, but it's fun. I'm just going to take it out and box it. You keep doing things. Okay. Um, so this is the doublet that Arby was mentioning, the new Aramis doublet. Um, so again, I think we only got this in in the red. Yeah, red only at the moment. Um, now, since it's a large, I'm just going to be cheap and... Look, when I repacked that... Over. When I repacked that bag, I was expecting Arvi to be putting it on. We did get a small, but yeah. Uh, but this is the large, I might buy one because this is actually really warm. Um, do I have a casual? Cool. Um, so it's nice little pointy things. Um, the toggles all match that of the 
Imperial Gambeson. So I'm, I'm a lady, not an armature. It's a bit large for me, obviously being a large, but it's got the flip sleeves and breathability and stuff. It's not thick enough to like use as a gambeson, um, but it's not bad for um, general warmth and nice like soft kit. I'm gonna take this off. off. So yeah, we got uh, the stone hammers are back. I love these things. It's like the like the giant Harley hammers that we've already got. Except you know now it's one one for DC fans and one for Marvel fans because you can be like, oh, I'm actually just a really small Thor. Probably should have did a headphone yeah, warning. Yeah, sorry for anyone that was wearing headphones just then. Um, we got uh, the dagger Ooh, the, the new, new ones. ones. Yeah. Um, okay, this one isn't just epic. It's epic. Thank you, spelling error. Epic. Yep. Epic. Syrup of epic. So that's the brown. Black is the same color. Ah, the epic. Black. Epic. Black. Epic. Black. There we go. It was nice right. enough to finally get back um, in focus. So I'm gonna, you, you grab that. I'll grab some daggers. Um, so that'll be interesting to see how they go. Um, oh, okay, that's really cool. Um, I just want to check something. <laughs> this yeah. comes out. Oh, so it expands out for days? No, no, no. Oh, pop that. Yeah. Okay, let me. So if you pop this is the rigorous this. testing we do with most of the products we get in for fresh. I.e., we normally have oh, no idea oh. when we receive them. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're new to new products as much as you guys. It's, it's stuck. Got it. There we go, so you can actually remove the scabbard itself as well. Oh, turn so. it into a hanger. Yeah, and just turn it into a hanger. The, um... Um, so depending on the look that you're trying to go for, if you've got, especially if you've got multiple characters, um, okay, so you would carry things in different ways. Slight problem. It's a little bit small. So I guess... Oh, you... do you want to try it without the, se uh, the full scabbard section? Oh, and someone's attempting to call us. How inconsiderate. <laughs> Ah, okay. oh, they heard me. It's yeah, okay, works. so the regular daggers fit uh, um, without... when you take out the fancy section. Yeah, so it works as a great frog. Yeah. Well, um, given that that's the legion, isn't it? That you were just trying to yeah. get in there? Yep. Given that's the legion, I'm fairly certain the bulgy section of that is about as big as all of the Cali daggers. Yeah. I like how it sounds like it's Cthulhu that's getting the call, because then it's a call of Cthulhu. No, call for Cthulhu. Maybe he's the one pranking us, and then it becomes call of Cthulhu. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. So, um, old product, we got more of, um, the, um, so the Plague Doctor masks, um, this one's a little bit compressed, thanks to packing, um, but we got them back in the brown and the black as well. Um, and I think that's everything as far as new products go and things like that. So, so since Avi has gone outside to take the call, um, <laughs> that was, uh, yeah, our unboxing for now. Um, have fun, love readers, and we'll see you on the battlefield. Any final words from Cthulhu? No. Nope. Okay. See ya.